So you've taken the time, made the decision to invest the money in quality company, contact, intent data. Now you're sitting on this and you've got to perform. So how do you get to results as quickly as possible in 90 days or less? In this video, we're going to go through the low hanging fruit using my highly sophisticated art here to show you how on both the sales and the marketing side, you can find the opportunities that are closest to turning into money immediately to justify the decision, to make yourself look good, and to make your teams very happy with the results. on the sales side because ultimately that is where the revenue is generated and this is where money is sitting that can move very quickly to the closing table. One foot to the finish line. What this re represents are the deals where your salespeople have had an opportunity close lost because they could not find the next person. Sometimes they can't even get the name of who that decision maker is or stakeholder that they need to speak to next or they might even know the name, but they didn't have a way to reach them. So this is the chance for your teams to go back into those recently closed lost opportunities and check them against your new data and find out if in fact they can find that next person they need to talk to. In, op in opportunities like this, that can happen very quickly to move to close once you can get in front of the right person. Assume, uh, pr presumably, all of the conversations already happened, the pain points have been exposed, the offer has been made, you just need to get to the right person to say yes. With who's next, this is similar to one foot to the finish line in that it's lacking a person, but in the case of who's next, you were talking to somebody, everything was going smoothly, and then that person leaves had an experience with a customer where they were dealing with a guy who was a new sales rep at this company and he was working on a two million dollar deal all of a sudden his contact goes dark calling in emailing no response finally calls into the switchboard trying to reach this guy only to find out the guy had left so he used our data and found all of the other contacts in that department was able to find who own that budget and in a matter of just a couple weeks was able to close that two million dollar deal. The last one, raising the dead, this is all of those closed lost opportunities where the timing just wasn't right. It was really, they said, hey, we like it, we're just not there yet. This is where the intent data can come into play because what you can do is check back against all those closed lost for timing opportunities and check to see have any of those actually bubbled up with new intent data saying that they are now in that space getting ready so that your salesperson doesn't miss the opportunity. Uh, any sales guy will tell you one of the worst calls to make is, oh yeah, we loved it, but had to, we kind of forgot about you. Your competitor came in, we started talking, and we bought from them. This is the way that you avoid that and bring that money into your company instead. So this is the sales side. Now from the marketing standpoint, I'm also going to include sales development team, the people who are setting your appointments, there's different names of different companies. But these folks will typically work together, often in an account-based methodology. But Hot and Ready speaks to those companies that are already using that intent data, getting ready. They're experiencing a pain point. Maybe they're actually having problems. And as you know, the people who are most likely to spend money today are ones that are actively feeling pain around a problem that they've got. So by going after those companies using that intent data, you can hit them when they are urgently looking to buy. They've done it once. So a lot of times people will be tending towards what's planning, what's coming down the pike right now. But just as valuable is knowing that a company has ever spent money in those areas. So if they've done it once, they're much more likely to spend again at some point, could be now. And so by looking back at uh, companies that have spent through that intent data, 
six months, a year ago, you now are teed up to know that this might be the right time to reach out to them again. Maybe those terms that they've had with those competitive vendors are now wrapping to a close. Or another way to go at it is if you know that you are really well positioned against a competitor and through your intent data or company firmographic data, you know that they're using that competitor. Now you can use this data to go in and say, hey, we know that companies often are having troubles and you identify troubles that you know are related to that competitive offering and we help solve those. So you take them from knowing that they've already spent that money to giving them a good reason to spend it again. This last one, get them hot, is really, it's one of a thousand different ways that you can use to go to market. The idea here though is you want to use a very punchy offer relevant to a current event. If there's just been another a major cybersecurity breach in a company and you're offering cybersecurity initiatives, you might take that opportunity to send a blast to all of the companies in that same space that are potentially dealing with that same problem. Short, punchy, using your contact data, hitting the right people in those, and then uh, knowing that potentially there's also intent data behind it that they either have spent or are getting ready to spend. But even if there's no intent data using qualified company and contact data, using those current events, you can tie them in to a, a short, punchy offer. So the idea is look for the low-hanging fruit. There are things going on with your sales teams, opportunities that they could be sitting on right now that they're moments away from the closing table. On the marketing side, addressing the um, the opportunities that are delivered by intent data and using the world, current events, to take those things and bring up something that might be just below the consciousness of your customers into the forefront and give them a why not reason to buy now. If you like this video, I encourage you to like, subscribe. We deliver all kinds of content, whiteboard videos once every other week and we're bringing in new content all the time both here and on our blog. So until we have a chance to meet in person, I wish you the best of success as you go growth bound.